Ooh, welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show. And uh, we were talking about, uh, what were we talking the about? The Chaplin Net Company. Chaplin Net Company. company. You yeah. looked it up on the computer, and it is a major, major company. They and make about any kind of net. If you talk about a basketball net or a tennis a net. Fishing uh, hoop nets is where they started. Fishing hoop nets is where they started. Yeah. But uh, they are very aggressive. They even sell pecans. pecans. Uh, Sound like a Bobby and, Dupre project and, there. And all of this was given to me by Greg Terry at just, Stein Lumber. He's a, a walking encyclopedia. I need to go there. visit him. He and I he, get along. Huh? He's a tourism <laughs> uh, person, like you oh, and yeah, I yeah. try to be. Promotes trying to tourism. promote tourism. No matter where we are, we try to promote it. And 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 for the whole area, wherever we're visiting, when we come back, we try to talk about it. And I asked Greg. I said, since you uh, are from Jonesville, Louisiana, did you know the late Mr. Jim? Thornton. Boy, he says, I sure did. He said, you know, they still have a large, crispy, crunchy uh, manufacturing place there. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Neil uh, from Honabain, uh -huh. uh, from Church Point originally, lives out in the Lafayette area, as I know it now, uh, has a place over at the point. Uh, he is the crispy, crunchy man. And when I was coming back from uh, Omaha last year for mm -hmm. attending the World Series, College World Series. Uh, I took a picture of a crispy crunchy way up a there. Banner in Missouri. Yeah. So anyhow, crispy crunchy. Let, let he, me. He, Mr. Jim, I think, was the founder of it. How about some sponsors? Steamboat Warehouse. Get mama away from the smell of own cooking. Go down to Steamboat Warehouse. Meet chef owner Jason Hugate. Talk to the man and try all the good stuff. They got great, great Louisiana seafood from the crawfish to the oysters to the shrimp. Great dishes. He's always doing something different, something unusual, but he's got all those old standbys that you've grown to love there over the years. Great atmosphere, adult libations. You get you that good old uh, Bloody Mary with the pickle zotico in it, and you can walk out on the wharf. Huge wine selection great beers as well. Go by and see the Steamboat Warehouse. And one more, Sears of Opelousas. Man, let me tell you. You saw him last night oh, at, uh, I saw, at, at our mass? I saw Derek uh, Faust over at, uh, at the mass. And let me tell you, whatever you want. Every time he sees me, he says, you know, you, you keep talking about that refrigerator that you owe your wife. He says, you <laughs> haven't picked it up yet. So he's putting a heavy pressure on me. He knows, uh -huh. he knows I gotta get it, and he knows where I'm gonna get it from. Uh, they, all your appliances, whatever you need with that, uh, stoves. You know what you need to ask him? Maybe they could, one comes in and has a little dent on the side yeah, that doesn't that, show. They that, give nice discounts uh, for that. Sure, they do that. And of course, they got that good Sears credit card that gives you a nice lower rate if you wanna try to buy it and finance it, pay a little bit per Month. You know, maybe you got that all that tuition for all those children like I got. You know, you got to kind of make the ends well, meet. You know, you, make it you work know, in your budget. David Link could help you over at oh, OPAC. OPAC Finance could help me out help as well. You out as well. Oh, sure. That's I'm, right. I'm they have fresh money. Brand new and fresh. Yep. That's right. And uh, Sears of Opelousas, don't forget about them for all that. Mattresses in, in the shop, electronics inside uh, his shop there. And, uh, you know, the thing I, I go the most for is tools and lawn type stuff. I'm always picking up something with the wheel. The back of my expedition. I've got a big tool chest that I purchased with Good him with all the tools. craftsman tools yep. that you know are going to last a lifetime. Go buy Sears. Now, let's show some more photos. Okay. You got this got group. This group here, uh, the, the young lady in the, the blue, uh, all the way on the right is Miss Tammy Bowles. Uh, next to him is Ernie Coward. And uh, his wife next to him, the blonde, is Sarah Coward. And then Mr. Anthony, and that's uh, Sarah and Tom. That's the M M Munville, Mulville. There you go. It's kind of hard. M U L V Mulville. Mulville. Kind of like so. when I say Melville. Melville. <laughs> Melville. Melville. Uh, anyhow, Mr. Anthony and uh, 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 Sh Shelby. Shelby. And uh, Todd Melville, daughter and father and, and daughter right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were taking their dad out, uh, Mr. Uh, Anthony uh, out to Father's Day dinner. Excellent. And uh, the young blonde and then her husband, uh, Ernie, in the red shirt, I said, uh, I, I hope I'm not saying the wrong thing here, but I think I saw you all out at a kind of a pre- uh, 
class reunion function over at Bowie's uh, on Friday night. They said, well, we were there. I said, uh, yeah, looks like uh, you knew everybody in the crowd, uh, Sarah. She said, well, I was, you know, raised right here in uh, Natchez. And uh, my husband, it was kind of hard on him because uh, he's, he's not, not from, from here, mm -hmm. but uh, said that on Saturday night they, they ha actually had the, the, the formal uh, reunion and she said it was just so much fun and uh, you know I break the ice I was walking out the place and I said wait a while here I think I recognize somebody in the crowd and uh, you know you got to be careful how you handle a thing like that in case it wouldn't have been her husband the night before <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would kind of cause a problem. That'd cause a little problem. But we don't want to cause any problems. <laughs> Y'all are a nice, nice family, and thanks for the nice oh, visit man. I had with you on Father's Day. And there's your lady that decorates all the house up. And they were selling this uh, gentleman, a photographer, made some, he used a kind of a thick. Uh, like a, like a card stock? Yeah. yeah, but. Maybe a little styrofoam little, behind it to make it stand up. A little styrofoam, yeah. kind of just a real neat deal. These little pictures right here were going for $25. And, uh, well, you, you know, you could pull. $20, uh, you ought to better sell yours. I mean, you can come out all right. Well, and, and I'll give them free if they'll go to our photo gallery. You can they download can, your you own You can download copy, your own. How much better can it and be? And it is beautiful. It, uh, I'm sure you're seeing it on your television, the colors that this it's lady bright. has. She's a... a, a I, I use the word refugee that she, she's relocated a, from, a relocated from the, from the Katrina yeah. <laughs> and gotcha. she's a character she's not going back she loves Natchez how about a viewer submitted photo of a sunset all the way from Lake Washita around Hot Springs Arkansas sent by Scott and Darla Pete how about good that good morning to the Pete's look at the hills man yep, they got yep, everything look at out that. there and we got this picture as well. This is the Woodman of the World, Lodge 47. You know, we always talk about how if you need a flag, they'll help you get an American flag. And they donated one to the St. Landry Parish Division of Family Services. If you ever done anything with, the, with Family Services, that's the location there run by Mr. Richard Lucido, who's the director. And Ken Thibodeau, of course, representing the uh, Woodman of the World. Now, the guy all the way on the left, I recognize him. That's Todd Swallow. Uh, that's uh, Dolores and Ed, Ed's uh, son from from Port Barry. Uh, he and I went to high school together. I guess we graduated the same year. Good morning, Todd. And one more he photo. He looks younger than you. Oh, he, he looks younger have any than me. Gray, he doesn't have any gray well, hair I yet. Think he's actually older than me. So you see how that Ooh, goes, man. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I might, you know, I'm just, I'm a newer model, but I got high mileage. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a picture from our mass last night. I had a picture, Monsignor Melanson celebrating the mass. That's the little chapel uh, in Grand Cateau there. And you can see the whole big group that was there. Uh, uh, 40 plus. Oh, yeah. We, we had a nice, nice, nice time. That was one of our nicer turnouts for the Opelousas uh, mm -hmm. area. And Deacon Dwayne. Gilbert said the grace, you know, our new a baby deacon. You know, you got yeah. some of these newer deacons. So. You know who asked him to say the grace? Who did? Yours true. Well, there you go. That's perfect timing. Yep. I, I, I didn't really know him, to be honest with you. I had seen him, but had never shook his hand he's until last guy. night. When you start going to St. Landry, you'll recognize him when you go. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's married to uh, Mary um, Ro Robinson. Um, her brother is the manager at Stage. Married to Desiree. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joe. Joe. So that's that's all the family. No kidding. So you Boy, see it's small we world. Getting, we're getting the world smaller and smaller and smaller. This is the last week for Little Theater's current production uh, directed by Sonia Langwa of The Jungle Book. So go by. You can go Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights at 7 p.m. And you can go this Sunday at 2 p.m. It's the matinee. It's the last week. Go by. You'll have a wonderful time. It's a great play. What else you got? Well, I've got something here on Buck and Johnny's in downtown Bowbridge, Louisiana. My friends, Miss Johnny and Miss Courtney and Mr. Buck and his wife, uh, they have a beautiful, they've renovated the old Domang Chevrolet garage uh -huh. in downtown, and uh, they've uh, begun uh, serving a breakfast in the morning, so something new. They had uh, lunch and dinner at night, and now they have breakfast in the morning, and uh, I'm sure I haven't had a chance to go. I was invited uh, to a breakfast, but I was out of town. I wasn't able to go, but I need. we need to get up early one morning and mm -hmm. mosey on down there and get a good breakfast. And uh, Miss Courtney will probably be there working from daylight to dawn. Happy birthday, Andrew Guitro. He is 16 today, Thursday. I think it's 16. Happy birthday. How do you like that? My baby. Baby's 16. Man. 
<laughs> That's when you get no free rabies vaccine. Uh, uh, the last day will be uh, June the 21st. Uh, that's going to be what Friday. Uh -huh. It'll be the last day, and that's going to be in Opelousas at North City Park, 8:30 to 9:30. Opelousa City Park from 9:45 to 10:45, right. and of course uh, all the day, since day beginning before June and Crotch 12. Springs and I mean, today it would be Thursday. Yeah, uh, Crotch Springs oh, at yeah. 8:30. Okay, I'm sorry. And also at the same time at Eunice, you can go to Eunice City Hall or Crotch Springs at the same time. So today. And and those are free. The best price of all. That's you can, right. If you're a hunter, you can bring the whole pack. And uh, bringing light to rural uh, Louisiana, they have recently come out with the Slim Cold book, celebrates 75 years of service. And uh, they, when I left uh, Plaisance uh, as a bot, I, I was going to be eight years old in just a matter of a few days. So I, I, I say that I was eight when I left Plaisance. And uh, Daddy actually, if I remember right, had the house wired for electricity, but they still hadn't brought the it actual got there. the wire and had hadn't gotten there yet, but it was going to soon be there. And uh, the, the home daddy was raised in was all wired, and he was raised, married, and moved off before they got power. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, 20 years old, I guess, eight, what, 18 years old. Ken uh, Stickney was uh, named uh, to cover the regional business uh, areas by the Daily Advertiser, and of course, a lot of those same articles uh, run, the deal run the same into company. the same company, uh, Gannett. Uh, Gannett is getting big in television. They are just maybe bought a bunch of TV stations. Yeah. Just bought a, a whole group of TV stations. I think they're going to be the second largest uh, group of uh, television owners in the United States. That fast went from from almost zero to a bunch fast. Big money, big money. Mm -hmm. And then we got all the consolidation going on newspapers down south right now with all that going on, the expansion of the advocate. The Affordable life insurance. I got this in, uh, I think this was in uh, the, uh, oh, the, the senior citizen book. Uh, AARP. AARP book. Affordable life insurance uh, for a non-smoker rate uh, -huh. uh it's eighteen dollars and uh, uh twenty cents for a female uh no sixteen dollars sixteen twenty a male is eighteen dollars that's non smoking now come to the same that's fifty year olds uh -huh. fifty year old smoking male is seventy dollars for the same hundred thousand dollars of protection what that tells you and and fifty four dollars for the female that tells so you don't smoke that pretty well tells you what that warning they put a warning on it and i, I and i i really pick at people that I know well enough. You have to be uh -huh. careful. Uh, and they said, Bobby, we'd love to stop. We have tried to stop. It's very, very difficult. So uh, uh, I've got a brother and a sister that both quit and took them more than one try. Boy, I've got a dear friend that's still smoking. I'd you, love him to quit. You, he you, knows. Your, your, your sister, I understand, she and her husband, Jimmy. Uh-huh. Debbie, over Debbie, in Grand Prairie. A really, Country cakes and catering? They are hitting a home run. Arlen and his wife, uh, LaFleur, told me, he said, Bobby, it's unreal, the business. And I said, well, Andrew doesn't say a lot. You, you hate to brag on your own family. But she but she can cook. You ain't got to worry about that. If you need and, catering or and cakes. Then, and then I said, they've also got a, a probably a free assistant, a fellow by the name of Neil and Guitros, <laughs> Debbie's daddy, is giving them a hand. You've been helping with some, some of the sausage and all, some of the smoked meats. Oh, Lord, sure. we all got to get over this time. It. Our thought for the day, Lord, we know that our life on this earth is but a monument, a moment compared to eternity. Help us to enjoy the time we've been given and use us to tell of your love and goodness until that day when we see you. Keep your eyes fixed on the prize. This weekend, please attend the church of your choice. Thanks for viewing. Thanks, Thank you. Andrew.